All right, guys, so Big John Fury's arrived and the Tyson bumps into the music, guys. John proves outside the ring he gets stuck in, unlike his son, Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. When it was Billy Joe Saunders, old man, going after the getting ragdolled by the security guards, Tyson couldn't get over the barrier, could he? He's not about that work outside the ring. You know, bumps into AJ in Spain, does squat, you know, apologises. I, AJ, sorry I couldn't make the Wembley date because I had to run to America, didn't I? Because, you know, you took over the UK and I didn't fancy the big payday. You know, now it's all about the money, but them days I just wanted easy work, you know. And I uh, went to fight Wilder, didn't I, for, for the UK? Because I couldn't take back what I'd lost, could I? You know, the normal route. So this video, I've put a few down notes, this one. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Fury? If you think old AJ's done, he chased you out of England for you to go and chase Donkey Wilder in the USA. Because if you look at it, the UK number one line is AJ. So when Fury come back, there was no doubt AJ was number one UK lion. So the other lion, normally you chase them off the patch, don't you, when you come back to take back over your domain in the UK. But if you don't fancy it, they go off, don't they? Find new territory. And that's why he's on the road all the time, Tyson Fury, because he don't can't fight AJ and get back his domain. Do you see what I mean? So the easy way is to find the USA, wasn't it? And Wilder. See, that's why when he did that chart thing, he put AJ as a dosser with Wilder, didn't he? The two he fears, the two he could knock him clean out puts him in the dosser category, see, because he knows Wilder put him on his flat on his back and then two or three times more. So although he's got his number, he knows that he could still be levelled. So he's a dosser. So when it's showing the psychiatry, see, I spoke to psychiatrists about, you know, how you do things. And he said, by putting them two as a dossers, that's his worst fear. It's the opposite, see. He respects them too, scared to death. That's why he went to fight Wilder, because thought he was a bum, but got put on his ass, didn't he? So that's why he didn't want the third fight. You know, he wants easy fights, but with Turkey's millions and millions, it looked wally, you know, it wouldn't look right now, would it? If he said, I'm not taking the bag versus Yuzik or Nagano, I'm going to, you know, go and fight Chisora 4 or, you know, Pianetta 2 or something because he wants easy work really that's his history he's only fought uh, Wilder because he thought he was sloppy he's even said that all oh, you beat his old tees that was on the interview once before he fought the first time you done squat basically to Wilder that's what he was saying so I made some notes here so he ducks AJ doesn't he to you know he, he wants the most money, he says now, but when, when it was there at Wembley, 60 40, to try and take back over your domain, didn't want to know, did he? He went for the lesser money them days versus Wilder. Facts. Even Wilder did the same. You know, now it's all about the money in the bag. Them days, it was like, no, I'm not going near AJ. So he you know, slid off to USA, as I said before. So Fury don't want to go in there because, see, another point is when AJ fought Wally and before he's going to be a tough fight, look what he did with Fury, you know, he's bloody going to give him a right go. He's 50-50, life and death this could be. After the fight, oh, he had no fear of Wally and did he? You know, these are like Carl Froch and Simon Jordan and all these. He could do that against Wally, and couldn't he? This is what music's saying, you know. It's all right calling him Nagano. I know you had that many 
uh, experiences, but he still shapes up well, and I think he still lands the lever on somebody. So it's easy said than done. I think music needs to go in there then with Nagano. I think he'd beat him, but he'd tire him out more. He won't do what AJ did. But with this uh, Wally in, showing the Fury's own fans, they were saying the same, oh, well, he knew Wally, didn't he? That's why he picked him, because in sparring, he knew he didn't hurt him and all that. Well, that's why, then, using your logic, that's why AJ's chasing Fury since the sparring. Got lit up and even admitted Fury did. Since then, he don't want to go near AJ. That's why he puts him in the DOSA category. You know, the psychiatrist has worked it out. You know, your biggest fear, you put as a DOSA. That's dismissing him, see? Don't want to face reality. So, the sparring stories are true. Wally hadn't, was broke before he got in there because he'd already tasted AJ's lever. And AJ had no fear of Wally, just like he got no fear of Fury. Fury can't hurt AJ, see? AJ knows he, he's uppercutted him, fricked the life out of him. That's where we at now, because he knows the sparring was real, like Wally did, see? The logic works. Now understand what they're trying to say to Fury fans when they say, oh, you know, he knows Wally he can't wait to get in there. It's unfair advantage because Wally and Carl punch to save Toffee, can he? And Fury's in the same boat as Wally, isn't he? You know, they go life and death. That's why I'm not hating on Fury because, but I'm putting reality out there, see? Fury's a good, honest Christian fighter. Good, not great. And this is what music's going to show. There is levels to this. I don't get bamboozled with all this BS because of the Wild Trilogy, like all the others say, well, he's, he has to get to Wild as how he was in the second fight to beat music, you know, this fantastic thing. Wild had no defence in the second fight or the first fight. He just didn't have need it in the first fight. So look at the, all the other fights other than Wild and Fury's life and death with most of them. Don't put no master class on. Chisora was past his sell-by date like White was. So we'll all see it happening now. As I said, I don't mind Fury, but all this boasting. And I'm happy if he does show me up wrong. Egg on my face. I don't care. You know, good luck to Fury. But at least he will quiet me down. But you've got these guys been saying for years on my channel. It's supposed to be AJ Fury, wasn't it? Then use it. They all say, don't disappear. Don't shut your channel down. Meaning when Fury levels use it or AJ, you know. You're not going nowhere, mate. You know, you lot of the ones that are going to disappear because you have nothing to say. Like, that's why they disappeared since the Nagano fight. You don't hear nothing from the Fury fans no more. They realised Nagano embarrassed him put him on his ass, and then they're talking about, he's had like, Ali's the greatest heavyweight ever. Greatest heavyweights don't do that shit. Ali, when he fought a lesser bloke, normally put him in his place within a few rounds. I think there was one bloke who's a scaffolder, got a title shot from Britain. And that was a joke, you know, easy work, four or five rounds, that was it. And that happened a lot of times with Ali. Anytime there's an under... You know, lesser don, they got what they deserved, and so Fury, I'm not giving him a pass. Sorry, it was all this mental ill stuff, and he can't get up for this. He can't do that. He can't get up for that. We never made excuses for all the ex champions. It's what it is on the day. You're supposed to be the professional. You're supposed to be the greatest thing since Ali. You're supposed to handle business. So I don't give him a pass on all these life and death struggles. If you want to, that's up to you, mate. I'm waiting for this music fight now and uh, let the best man win.